Now to a CBS2 investigation into a potential threat in your neighborhood. Thousands of Chicago light poles rusting out, toppling onto cars and even some people across the city. For the first time, CBS2 investigator Dave Savini got a hold of city data and reveals just how widespread the danger really is. We got a lamppost hanging. It's going to fall into traffic. They are a critical component of public safety. Nothing but rust. Lighting up neighborhoods, helping to keep the streets safe. But we found they are so poorly maintained, they are also creating a danger. The light pole just fell on the student. And we now know for the first time CDOT, the Chicago Department of Transportation responsible for maintaining them, was warned years ago about exactly which poles it needed to repair or replace immediately. But what's your biggest fear? I mean, this is it's about public safety. The CBS2 investigators fought for CDOT data from 2017 and 18. Analyzing it, we found 33,000, or 10% of the city's light poles, were rated the worst. This is one of 1,000 poles in Roseland. Just Roseland. Just Roseland. It don't make me feel good about it. And we found thousands are still not fixed or replaced and could pose a danger like this one. But there's quite a significant amount of corrosion of the base. Dr. Sammy Tin heads the University of Arizona Material Science and Engineering Department and was formerly a professor at the Illinois Institute of Technology. Aging infrastructure, deferred maintenance are, are tremendous issues. This light pole slammed to the ground in Raul Montez's little village neighborhood two months ago. Negligence, negligence. You're saying there were people walking by, children? That's correct. I mean, what if it would have hit them? They would, somebody would have probably got killed. And that, of course, is our Dave Savini investigating there. The story doesn't end there. Tonight on CBS 2 News at 10, the CBS 2 investigators show you which neighborhoods have the most problem poles. And Dave digs deeper into that survey you paid for. That's tonight only on CBS 2 News at 10. And by the way, just this afternoon, CDOT finally confirmed the survey found 33,000 light poles leaning, damaged, or with concerning levels of rust. But they don't consider them to be, quote, major dangers. Still, they claim thousands of new poles are slated to be installed.